I'm Enzo Carter, and <clears throat> today I'm going to um, make a uh, fuser cathode, or the centerpiece that you'd find where the plasma is, out of the big stuff, this this point oh point seventy seven millimeter um, stainless steel. Last time I used the oh point forty six millimeter stainless steel, and basically you just wrap it around three times, and you tie it while it's still on take it off and uh, put them together. So that was it. I'm gonna take these giant things. Don't drop them. And also forget, remember to wear safety glasses because they might like spring on your eye and stuff. That's not good. And make sure to leave a really, a nice big tail like that so um you don't so you can actually tie it because if you leave a tail like this it, you can't really tie it all right anyway and then you just tie it right here this is um uh, we're, we're about to take it off and start putting it together, putting them inside each other to make the right shape. Cause you can cut these, you can, you see the things on the bottom, you can cut these off. And the, what the finished product of the same material of this is, um, this is the same thing as this basically, because um, this is the same 77.77 millimeter uh, uh, stainless steel and wrapped around. And this is that before I shape it. Now we're gonna shape it. It's a really tight loop. Make sure to make your loops really tight. I'm now finished uh, tweaking with the two-dimensional loops, turning into turning them into this three-dimensional sphere, much like the one I showed you earlier. And uh, I, I can actually probably put this in a fuser. You, don't forget, you can always cut these off. They're getting annoying. And basically, if you uh, mess up and like it looks really ugly the first time you try, it's obviously going to. It's really difficult. This is like my... I've tried a lot. I've made a lot of worse ones. Much worse ones. Like I think this might have been like one of my first couple. See, just look at the difference. Practice makes perfect. Hi, this is the um, same cathode we made earlier today, and it is connected to this NW 50 millimeter vacuum port, which um, we have this, what was it called again? I got this. High voltage feed through, which connects it and um, uh, gets the um, protons and electrons to separate and get a plasma going over here. So the purpose of this is so we can get the minus 30,000 volts into the cathode or around the cathode to actually do the fusion. There's right through here and there's ceramic here. So this and this are not connect, this and this are not connected. So um, it doesn't short out. Now we're going to install this into my uh, vacuum chamber over here. So we're going. Um, uh, now that we've installed our cathode poison, whatever you want to call it, we're going to connect it. We're going to connect the high voltage to it. But first, we're going to make sure it's off so we don't kill ourselves. So this, we would just hit this down which would kill everything, basically. And this is off. Everything's off. And it looks safe. So this is, so all we gotta do is connect this and then screw it on a little bit. And then take this. Yeah. 
Now we have the ground connected to um, our power supply, and we have the, this is the negative 30,000 volt power supply connected to our um, fuser, and this is the um, ground also connected to the fuser, the ground power supply. So now we're going to test our um, new cathode. It's in there now. We, we saw us install it. So first we're going to add uh, to 1,000 voltage. Then we're going to cut the pump on. So, and then um, we're going to slowly feed the fire. So turn it up, it's about 1,000. Turn it down a little bit, a little bit higher. So let's turn the pump on. And it should be starting up soon. Look at that. And now we're going to slowly um, turn the voltage up to like 2,000. Now we got 2,000. Now our um, loud vacuum pump is starting up. Now it's at 3,000. Usually if this, oh now it's kind of heating up. Well really, if this would, if we had a much higher volt power supply, we couldn't be looking at it like this because of x-rays and stuff. Look how hot that's getting. I can like see it boiling. Oh God. Not to do. You see, while we were filming over there, I was talking and um, just looking at it and I wasn't really paying any attention to the voltage and it was getting red hot. So, and then, uh, it, once I realized it was, once it started spewing and stuff, like, once it started spewing on itself, then that's when I, like, suddenly realized and turned it off. But, it was too late. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed this. Th that's what not to do. Like, half of it's gone. It's all, like, red still. Part of that's burnt. I don't see anything spewed on it.